Hello everyone, my name is IcePBJ, and today we're doing a gameplay video of the one, the only T22 Medium, which is frankly one of probably one of my favorite rank 10s right now by far. I've only done seven games in it because I just got it right now. Um, well, when I do this video, it's not going to be the exact time, but they were three days. You had a chance of a $25 crate. And um, in my previous video, I opened it, I didn't get it, but I had enough gold to buy it. And the big bundle, which was very nice, and this tank, well, is very strong. Um, let's talk about the tank in the way, it's a medium, it's a collectible, it's a Russian, and uh, it strikes fear into enemies. Now its turret is unbreakable in the front, and it's 130 millimeters in the front, and 100 in the hull of the turret, I mean the tank. No, 170 on the sides of the turret and 140 on the turret. So the turret is very, very thick and it's probably never going to be ever pinned. Uh, like one of the things that Drudel Blitz has said and I have dealt with is if you're if the um, T22 medium is in a hold down position, you'll never hit his uh, his top hat, his cupola. Is you'll never hit it. It doesn't account for the game. You'll never pin it. So if you're going to try to pin his turret, don't. Might as well just shoot HE, because that's probably the only thing that's going to do anything. And then we talk about its si its track. Most mediums have the weakness of a wide track. With this, it's not connected to the tank, so it's harder to break and pin. Now, one thing I have noticed, this tank is like... So I have, when I started World Tank Splits, well, in, a, in the past time, I've wanted to build a tank that has the best reflexes so I can whiplash really really well and this tank has that ability it is so reactive it has the reflexes of a cat plus you know a superman's cat like that's just how much reflexes speed this tank has it's just how crazy it is and we talk about its gun its gun is not the most accurate thing in the world but it's still extremely pow powerful uh, it's only about five seconds to reload speed and it's got an average of 310 damage, which is a lot. And its damage per minute is a lot for 3,506 damage per minute, which is a lot. Um, so yeah, we're also it's a very fast tank with its engine. It's able to go about 55 miles per hour forward and 20 in reverse. So backing up is not the most ideal thing, but it can do it very well. The only thing is because its power to rate ratio is not great it cannot get to that speed very quickly or easily when it's going up a hill and stuff like that but you, you can see in this game how well this tank plays now i say you know it's only been seven battles and i have a 29 percent one rate the reason my excuse for that is because it's a new tank that i have not played it's interesting trying new tactics on it and also sometimes i have teams that only have 40, 30 to 40 percent win rates which the enemy team has 50 to 60 percent win rate players i don't see if that's very fair but you know i'm a little salty about that but anyway um let, let's get into this battle uh if you do like this content and how i play and how many games i've done in gameplays uh please like and subscribe and put a comment down below you know, an opinion of whatever opinions you have, I will, I always, well, mostly read all the comments. Um, sometimes I have to delete some because they're sometimes inappropriate. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, the T22 medium, there's not too many. Oh, no way. YYZZ. Sorry, I'm the sure Dan that's on our team, I played with him before. <laughs> no, just like randomly, like multiple times. In a row. It's hilarious. Oh, man. Alright, I guess I'll come with it. It's fine. Anyway, so this tank is very strong. It's a very deadly tank. And it's reaction speed. Like, this turret, like... I mean, it, it's crazy to me. Like, just how fast this reaction speed is. And it's just got so much armor that you can go brush very, very easily. I wouldn't peek out there. from this area, I can make a position. We'll go down and around and get some rounds there. Because it, you know, has such a fast reload speed, you can't get to positions and hit enemies. Um, 
25,000 gold for a tank is, like, very expensive in my opinion. My shots going straight into the enemy. Finishing my fire. Now, um, with this tank, it is very strong, but also, it's very expensive to get this tank. Extremely expensive for this tank. It's 25,000 gold for, you know, the 35% off. So I guess that's cheaper than the 20,000 gold. It at least has a gold price now. Back then it was about $300 max in crates. We were spending about $300 and I was guaranteed to get it. So yeah, this tank is very well made. Very dead. I'm just gonna auto Enemy And yeah, let's just keep putting rounds into the it's just such a fast reload speed. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Oh, wow. Turret ring. That's not great. It also has more than 6 de degrees of depression. So it's not, you know, the greatest. See that whiplash? <laughs> that strikes fear into the enemy. Gotcha! Uh, Our track is in! It can break any minute! Also, it's a very good tank. It's side scraping. Help. Ah, okay. You wanna go? You wanna go? Oh, oh. Come on. Peek. Peek. There you go. Three, two, one. Oh, Alright, well, this game is not great. We're being picked off quite easily. <laughs> Look at this armor. Like, the armor profile on the other T22 medium is a lot. This is not going to be a winning game because. Oh, oh well. You know, that happens sometimes. Um, but yeah. Those techniques are very well. I did about 2,000 damage, but my team completely fell apart. Like, I, I don't understand some heavy sometimes. Like, you know, you can play really well, but... Anyway, so yeah, I've been carrying teams most of the time and losing my win rate. That's why I've been playing the Panzer uh, 2J. Don't judge me. But let's get into a second game, the final game, because I'm going to keep it at two games max. And, wow, okay. So we got the Shredan, the T-62A, the T-57, Heavy, M-46, uh, Platoon, 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 whatever, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, first game I played, I was in this battlefield, and I got HE to death by a E-100. Yeah, it was, it was great. Probably, probably fearing me, most likely. Oh, T22. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm not the most experienced. I don't even have like 10 battles in this game, tank, so. Oh wow, the, none of the medium and light tanks went this way because they were just assuming I was coming this way. Which is smart on her part. I probably would have been a really hard fight. But yeah, look at that. Just those whiplashes. Oh man, if you time it right, it feels so great to whiplash. Yeah, this tank is very fast. It's very mobile. Its, it's flexibility is crazy. The only thing with depression, it's very. Annoying. I feel like they balanced it out really well with its armor and everything. Okay, come on, come on, come on. See, like, this isn't a different tank. I would have been right now twice, probably. Oh, look at that whiplash. That was impressive. Okay, you're not even going to deal with me? Enemy armor is damaged. I'm just going to shoot it. So, well, you're dead. Oh, another whiplash. Really easily, especially if you're only fighting one tank at a time. It's 
very helpful. Right, so I'm going to push aggressively to try to cap this point back so that we have a better chance of winning. And then uh, try to push aggressively to win these tanks. this up. So that was a very better game. Not the greatest gameplay. I mean, that last point I kind of goofed it up. But I was really trying. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to play the T22 Medium, a very strong tank. Um, some people complain about how broken it is. I don't think it's broken. It's well balanced. Inaccurate at some points. Gun depression, not the greatest, but still good. And its armor and flexibility is great. I think this has got to be one of my favorite tanks of all time. It's a very hard competitor of the VK90. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. Stay icy fresh. Please like and subscribe if you can. It's only um, about 3% of you guys are subscribed. If you did subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you never, if you can always decide not to or unsubscribe if you don't like my content in the future. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Stay icy fresh, and I'll see you later.